Hello, it's James here. Last time I did some welding. Look at that, she made something out of metal and joined it together. It's a bit like something out of Mad Max, but it seems strong enough. So that's pretty good, and that's going to be really good in loads of projects. So I thought this time I'd actually have a go at forging, actually melting the steel and uh, reshaping it and seeing what we can do with that. I've got an anvil and a hammer and some tongs. So what else do we need? A fire. Where are we going to get some fire? Well, I think I can make a fire out of fire. This looks like somewhere we might make fire. It's not an old one, it's one I just got from a DIY store. I've taken the door off so we can get in really easily. It's got a hole we can pump air in the bottom to make the fire really hot. It's quite thick steel, hopefully it won't melt through. I'm gonna fill the bottom with sand anyway as an insulator. So um, I guess we'll make a fire and see how hot it gets. So I'm going to fill this with sand, we've got a hole here, we're going to put a steel tube in and we're going to pump air in there to make the fire really hot. But we don't want the steel tube to melt, we don't want sand to fall out the hole. So I've got a fire brick, which is one of these silica insulating fire bricks. I'm going to stick that in the front, cut it down, drill a hole in the front, pack the back with sand and that should stop the tube melting. Now these you have to be really careful when you cut them because they've basically got nasty dust that comes off them because of the silicon. So we're going to be careful and wear a respirator or a face mask when we cut that. On the other end of my tube, I've got an electric lilo inflator, which hopefully will be good enough, and hopefully the pipe doesn't get hot enough that it melts. cold at that end, so hopefully it won't melt the pump. I've built the coal up a bit more now, so I'm not just putting the thing in the airflow, so actually we can get the heat higher, and when I put the metal in, it's not just getting cooled by the air being blown in. Yeah, it's getting there. Well, it's not really red hot, but it's a lot softer than it would have been.
Well, that was semi-successful, I guess. I managed to make this hook. The uh, bar material holds its heat a lot more than the tube did. I guess the tube's got more surface area all round and inside to radiate heat, although it was a lot softer than it would have been for squashing it. So uh, that could be quite useful. But can I melt aluminium extrusion in a stainless steel cafetiere? It'd be quite good to recycle all those bits and then machine them down. We're not getting anywhere fast with that. I think it's got a cavity as well, which I'm a bit concerned will explode. The bottom's expanded. So um, I think I'm gonna stop with that and use a, uh, a good old tin can instead. All right, let's see how that's doing. Oh yeah, look at that. It's melted almost completely into the bottom of the tin. I don't think I can pour it just yet. Oh, actually there's a hole. Oh, the tin's got a hole in. The aluminium's molten. That's aluminium, look, molten metal. But the tin's got a hole in, it's burnt through and all the aluminium's come out in the fire. Ah, there we go. I probably need a better crucible than that. So I found the rest of the aluminium. It actually uh, melted and it's run down inside my blower tube. Look, <laughs> look at that. Ta-da, my first aluminium cast. Just as well as stopped it, otherwise it would carry on running down. Probably melted my pump up. Well, there we go. You can melt aluminium in a fire with a lilo blower. Well, that fire's really quite hot, so I thought I'd cook some sausages, but they're all burnt on the outside. It just goes to show, even without the air, it's probably a few hundred degrees in there. Yeah, they're gonna be a bit charcoaled. So that was relatively successful. I'm pretty happy with my hook that I made. I don't think I could have flattened the end doing it cold, although I probably could have bent it cold. But um, there we go, it's a bit of fun anyway. It could be quite useful if I wanted to drill a hole through that way and put another pivot in or something like that. I'll just have a flat with a peg through. We could flatten that out some more and make some sort of coupling. Obviously this is studding so we can put a bolt on the other end. I probably need to clean it up a bit with a, an angle grinder or something because it's a bit mucky from the fire, but that seemed to work pretty well. I'm especially happy I can melt aluminium. I do need to get a better crucible and something to actually pour it into, but I've got loads of these scrap bits of extrusion. So all these silly offcuts, we could melt down, we could make it into bar or plate, and we could see and see it, or we could turn it in a lathe and make something useful out of it. So I think I need to work on my fire. So this is the tube I was using for blowing. I think what I need to do is block the end up, drill lots of holes in the top there so we don't just get one big blast of air that makes the fire hot in one place and that burns the coal really quick and everything falls into it. Probably need to disperse the air through the sands, get the fire hot all over, then we really can put metal into the hot coals and the hot ashes there at the bottom that's where it's the hottest without blowing loads of air at it and cooling it down which is a problem I had to start with. So I'm going to be doing some more experimentation with melting aluminium and reusing it and I think that's the most useful thing that's come out today so don't forget to subscribe for more updates on that and lots of other projects. Now it's really important to say that my channel is funded through Patreon so have a look at patreon.com xrobots and you can get access to some exclusive rewards including a live stream with me and all my videos early. All right that's all for now. 